Dr. Massimino Dominici is an assistant professor in oncology and hematology at the University of Medina and Reggio Emilia. Medina is an ancient city in the third century BC with a university dated 1175 AC. Medina is the home of the traditional balsamic vinegar, vinegar Luciano Pavarotti, and the Italian sports car manufacturers such as Ferrari, Lamborghini, and the Maserati. Massimino has been in ISSCT, which is the International Society for Cellular Therapy, and he's been a member since 2001. He's currently a member of the Mesenchymal and Tissue Stem Cells Committee of the ISCT, and the treasurer, and the senior society go from operating at a loss to now operating at a profit. And in 2009, he co-founded the Forum for Italian Researchers on Mesenchymal Stormal Cells, bringing him all the way from across the world. From Italy, it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Massimino Domenici. So good morning. While we are adjusting the um, software and hardware of the computer, I want to thank the organizers for this invitation. As was just said, I'm coming from Italy, from Modena. And um, I had the opportunity and the lucky to uh, meet uh, uh, Robert Goldman uh, in April during our visit in China. And we spent uh, uh, five days together moving from one research center to another research center for just understanding what's going on and uh, which are the development uh, in that part of the world. So it was very impressive. And in the meantime, uh, while we were spending these five days, uh, he was talking to me about this anti-aging um, society that he was setting up. And I was impressed. And I think uh, um, I'm coming from the medical world, and I'm um, a physician that's working. I'm a physician, I'm an oncologist, hematologist, but been working on stem cell till 1997. Um, and, um, what were we doing is just one second. Okay, thank you very much. I think we're set. Uh, so I said, um, I'm an oncologist and, a, and as a physician, we've been trying to use uh, cells to treat patients, um, um, stem cells to treat patients for quality of life of this patient and for life of this patient. So I'm going to share with you this morning uh, some of our data and some vision on how we can understand the use of stem cells to better understand uh, the way in which we are um, essentially uh, aging. Um, again, thanks, Bob, for this invitation. This picture is taken at the airport of Tajin, and I met him. Was he was trying to plug in his cell phone? I was a bit confused because he was just trying to find out which was the right wire to plug in because there were hundreds of them. Um, so I'm coming from Modena, which is uh, right between Milano and Bologna, very close to, um, to uh, Florence. And as just said, uh, Modena is famous for the balsamic vinegars, for the Pavarotti, and for the, uh, for the Ferrari. And I have to disclose that I don't have, unfortunately, a Ferrari, and, and I don't have any other disclosure to make for this presentation. So um, um, what are stem cells? Um, this has been said, so I'm going to go briefly about this. And um, these are cells which are incapable to do anything. So you'll be disappointed for that. But that's the reality. It's the cells that by themselves, is, is, these guys are not capable to make anything if you don't provide their specific signal that are, um, allow them to make something. And uh, this is something is called differentiation. So they can become um, muscle cells, they can become insulin-producing cells. This um, phenomenon is called differentiation. And which are the factors that are, dri that are driving this, uh, this differentiation? Well, there are many. And uh, generally, there are external factors which are uh, telling the cells to do something. Uh, these are chemical signals that, which are secreted by other cells. Um, this could be like physical contact, cell-to-cell -cell contact, which are telling the cells to do something. And then there are certain molecules that are included in the microenvironment, which are certainly um, 
capable to address that 